Is this your ship? Oh my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship, working on a real engine, belonging to a proper crew. I'm the only decent mechanic Edgewater's got, but every time I think of going back, I get this sinking feeling. Well, it's kind of you to say that. And you're right. I wasn't happy. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. But... Can I come with you? I could tend to your engine. I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? Yes! I mean, Captain. I find myself marveling at the complex simplicity of the Fibonacci spiral. I'm sure you know what that's like. Something... Captain, I have detected that Edgewater's power supply is now optimal. I applaud your willingness to invest your time in the local community. What can I do for you? Do you know how to install a power regulator? Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catas- Our engine room is located behind you. Across- What can I do for you, Captain? All systems are up. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test. request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any, uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, uh, help us, find the chemicals. Gladys Kalkelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon, terraformed badly, and almost completely lawless. You'll love it.
Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. Uh, think of a nav key as a... The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys Kelly. Gladys and I have been doing business for years. Her smuggling credentials are unimpeachable. If anyone can get you... Without a skip drive, good luck. You'll be dead before you make it to the nearest star. Look, I admire your optimism, but the sad truth is you're stuck here. You, me, and the rest of this colony. We're all skating precariously around. None of us are leaving Halcyon alive, so we may as well make it a better place. And we can start by reviving the hope. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting-edge technology years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the captain's quarters. Marvelous device. I'm quite proud of myself. The shroud changes the user's appearance to mimic that of another. It has limits. First generation technology, you see. But promising. Exciting to see it in use at last. Very simply, the holographic shroud uses biometric information contained on standard identity cartridges to generate a holographic projection around you. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Yeah, so this is my hiding spot now. I was looking for a place that was quiet. I figured the kitchen would be louder than the hold, so here I am. Cozy like, eh? That's in pretty good shape considering how hard Mr. Hawthorne ran it. It's a Yakita LHA 120, A2 model, I'm pretty sure. The Block 2 design scooshed in extra cargo space but didn't change the stock engines. Probably a touch underpowered, huh? Accurate in all particulars. I conclude you are Edgewater's board-certified mechanic. Fly-by-wire's pretty normal. Or at least ways that's what I read in the trades. I've never been on a real ship before. Hello! I am not a board-certified mechanic, but my dad was. He taught me all he knew. Do you understand? Speech recognition is one of the many skills I have been programmed to simulate. You're not simulating it, you're doing it! I... I am gratified you consider this facsimile. I don't see any holes in the hull. I'll take a good squint at her, make sure everything's tip-top. But I think we're cooking with plasma torches. You can do that, you know. My dad taught me how to make grilled cheese sandwiches. What? You want me to leave? Oh, <laughs> Thank you. 
I could spend hours reflecting on the secret workings of the universe. So, tell me what...
Welcome back. How can The unit is a cleaning sand. Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago, I'm sure with the intent to modify it. But I've Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing it. If you check the terminal in your captain's quarters, we may be able to determine what we I prefer to think of it as being in a state of slumber, perhaps for an indefinite duration of time. Do you think that is what it's like for the colonists? When I simulate myself in such a scenario, I do not find it to be desirable. I think my self-preservation protocols incline me to desire the alternative. Traveling the system with you, do you know what it feels like when the ship undergoes an unexpected power surge? A jolt to the system. I have felt that. I do feel that. As you may be aware, Captain Alex Hawthorne was a smuggler of some repute. I failed to predict the likely outcome of his reckless behavioral patterns. I should have predicted that. In our travels together, Alex liked to pass time by, as he called it, Tinkering to improve. If you mean, was Captain Hawthorne my first? Yes, he was. How can I be? What part of the colony would you like to discuss? Where in Terra 2? Edgewater is the sparkling county seat of Emerald Vale, or it was when first built. Since then, neglect and time have worn away her shiny veneer. The town is near the coordinates where Captain Hawthorne died. It would not be unfortunate if something, like, say, a plague, were to wipe Emerald Vale from the face of the planet. You mean the ones who did not answer my distress call with medical assistance, but instead came to issue my injured captain a parking ticket? I'm sure they are wonderful humans who don't deserve to be wiped out by starvation or a devastating plague. Since you diverted power to Edgewater, the botanical lab shut down and the deserters were forced to return to town. Meanwhile, the cannery's output increased enabling the town's population to prosper. Thank you for nothing, Captain. I cannot say. First, I need to adjust my memory interpretation sensors, but I think my answer is yes. Of course. What part of the call? We are clear to dock with the Groundbreaker, if that's your desire to... If we're going there, please be sure all docking forms have been filed in triplicate and fees have been paid. The Mardettes take their docking laws qu I can, yes. Let me add that to my list of 1,435,498 tasks I am simultaneously executing in order to run our ship. You are more than welcome, Captain. The Groundbreaker was Halcyon's original colony ship. It has since been repurposed as a service station in the Lagrange point of the system. Freighters often deliver or pick up goods from the Groundbreaker en route to other destinations. The city ship hosts an array of cargo bays, factories, housing sections, and more. 
Many of Halcyon's companies maintain office spaces with stationed representatives in what is considered a truly neutral territory within the system. I have filed the required docking forms in triplicate and fees have been paid. How can I be... So, what would you like to... Now playing a Spacer's Choice advertisement jingle. My pleasure. I used to hate math, but then I realized decimals have a point. As you wish, Captain. I must comply with all direct orders. Take care. We've arrived at the Groundbreaker. Got a sec? Hey, Captain. I heard the Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson? I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? Checking your ship's manifest. Standard procedure. Welcome to ground. Smells like grease and unwashed bodies. Just as I remembered. It's always fucking freezing in the bays.
That's not the point. This hack would just knock out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. did to get the board so wild at him. Hey, stop! What do you think you're doing? Ah. Sorry for the misunderstanding. Customs and inspection, right this way! Identification, please. Everybody's got an ID. Oh, let me guess. I'd tell you no one's fallen for that line in about 30 years. Then I'd take the safety off. It's a good thing she didn't say that then, right? Right, sir? Sure, Kit. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down... Th I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship? It doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. You take the starch out of them, well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Wanda Dorset over in sickbay, tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Ah, a handful of Sam cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. I don't know much else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. Much appreciated. Is there any... He's friendly enough unless you speak ill of the board. Get the sense he doesn't care for Groundbreaker much. Not that he would, being a board man and all. He's our liaison. Really likes his cereals too. Maybe a little too much. Don't see what's so wrong about liking cereals. Udon takes it to an, uh... Yeah, noticed. What can I say? We're passionate folks, and the board can't abide that independent spirit, especially not when it might impact. All their interstellar freighters come through us, and we skim a few bits off the top and manifest process. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments any time. You sure you didn't just step off one of the interstellar? There's no working with the board. They don't share, not bits, people, or resources. You work for them? Groundbreaker cooperating now would be tantamount to joining their ranks, and we sure as shit ain't about to do that. 
It's a delicate balance, right? We could cancel our freighter's docking privileges in retaliation, but where'd that lead us? They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations that we push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. The board wouldn't do that, would they? The board is necessary to provide order to the colony. They believe it's their prerogative to overrun you. It's a tough line to walk, no doubt about that. Yep, Groundbreaker's the only real independent port. Aside from us, there's just tramp freighters and wildcat miners. Seems like every year the board's offices get bigger and their ships take up more of the landing base. Haven't seen nearly as many tramp crews this year. Sure thing. Most places are on the promenade deck. Big door yonder, straight through security. There's a bar on the starboard side. I got a preference for the Lost Hope myself. Talk to Vera, she'll set you right. You need anything else? You let me know. Don't want anyone saying groundbreaker. Maybe. Most of the shipping traffic in the system passes through Groundbreaker. Every couple of months, we even get a big interstellar freighter. Two biggest operations are the board, that is, Halcyon Holdings and Sublight Salvage. But there are independent operators around the promenade deck. Most of those jobs are going to take you off. They strip the parts from derelict ships and abandoned outposts. There's some that say they make the derelicts and encourage folks to abandon their steads. Sublight gives me the creeps. I've known folks who went to work for them and just vanished. They're on the promenade run by a woman named Lilia Hagen. I'm only telling you so you know to avoid them. Are you pulling my leg? You must be one of them long-haul freighters from outside the colony. Well, I won't hold it against you. It goes like this. Back on Earth, before the crossing, the powers that be were selling off stakes in distant star systems they thought had put A bunch of companies decided to throw in together and form the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, then buy up the rights to this here colony. That group's what we now call the Board. Groundbreaker was one of the original colony vessels to come over on the crossing, a few years before her sister ship, the Hope. Once everybody'd been de-thawed and dropped dirt side, the original crew of the Groundbreaker decided they rather liked the spacefaring life. I guess that was the start of our independent spirit. Now, here we are. Glad. All right. Be seeing you. Just arrived? Head over to customs. Wheeler needs to process you. Hi there. Haven't seen you around. What can Groundbreaker secure? Anything else I can help you with, ma'am? Chief Junlei Tennyson. She runs the ship. Does a real great job of it, too. Her family's worked on it for, gosh, since... What's she like? Good as she can be, I guess. What with all the troubles Groundbreaker's facing. She could stand to lighten up, I suppose. But she tries her best to do right by folks, and that's what matters. Sure is. But she makes it look easy. She's real competent, our chief, even if she ain't real friendly. They're run by Miss Hagen. Half the tramp captains and contractors in the system have worked for her. I ought to warn you straight off. Scuttlebutt says some of the jobs they do aren't exactly above board. Downright anti-business, if you catch my meaning. Oh, sure. Gets a mite boring at this desk, you know. 
Then I get to chatting too much and Commandant Sunny. Oops! Doing. Oh, don't worry. Can't speak for the captain, but I'm used to listening to folks drone on about their point. Awful generous of you. L Unless you're here to file an incident report or to inquire about the bounty posting, I must kindly ask you to clear out. The Mardet's offices aren't for leisure time nor loitering. Last tip we got pointed toward the back bays. You want the reward? Do the legwork. You and about six other enterprising mavericks. It's only a matter of time before someone brings me McRed's head, or his lucky lighter, as proof of kill. I do hope you're the lucky hunter, though. Good luck and skip. Still waiting to hear back on that bounty for McRed. Out of the outlaw scientist fella, right. The board's headed out for him. If you have an inkling of the where's or what for's of his location, Udon. To the board, yeah. You've read his wanted poster. But he's never done nothing to Groundbreaker, so I've no problem with him. We keep... This is it. Security. I can check the departures registry to find out which crew chain, I mean, the scholar, shipped in and out with.
Hold it right there. Calcion News. We interrupt the regular individual's advertisement for the following story. What's going on here? What do you think you're doing? Uh, just be careful next time. Gonna head to Varus for whiskey and dark. Maybe not in that We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. The board would like to remind spacers and other travelers that passage to Monarch is restricted to the Canyons of acid and sulfur rain are the least of the horrors plaguing the surface of Monarch. All of us live as one with the animals, lawless, savage, and unemployed. The board's involved in ensuring that nothing leave the planet and hey, stop that! What do you think you're doing?
Danny. Try not to be distracted by the glare of the adverts. Lots of unsavory types about. You don't pay your docking fees, your ship gets seized. I've seen it happen. Can't say I've seen you before. If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever going to get my service mechanicals at this rate. Our delivery man. A brave idiot with a penchant for getting himself delayed. Sometimes by day. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla. An asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. A place... You're sure this is perfectly safe? I'd rather not die early of an infectious disease myself.
You can't keep me out of there. Please don't make a scene, Dr. Finney. Sorry about the heat. Chief Tennyson will get the radiators fixed soon. Of course, this heat. Oh, and it's not the best. Lot of slogan. Heard of it? My orientation aether wave showed that famous Saltuna cannery, which I'm sure smells as good. That's true. Yeah. That's a spacious choice beer. So, what can I get you? Some soap? Uh, have a look. Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made with... Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking... Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little... Moral flexibility. Might be this could help out the Groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. Do you know Edna, over in engineering? Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I... She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Can't say I know for sure. Sounds like someone poking into somewhere they shouldn't be got into a spot. Comm centers don't operate themselves, Captain. Someone had to have sent that distress call manually. Those corps are cleverer than all get out. Might have been a ruse to keep the rest of the board from... You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for bits. I like that. Here's a copy of the SOS recording. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. 
Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to... Don't forget to come find old Gladys with... Might want to acquaint yourself with Junlei Tennyson, Groundbreaker's chief. She's been trying to get a handle on this heat problem we've got. You'll find her fretting in engineering. I'd say she's a sweet girl, but law for fen someone call me a liar. Wanna try? Now see here, I'm... What was I doing again? We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. what they do with their waste. Hmm. I guess they just chuck it down here. Where the hell go? Uh, how about I stay up top? You know, keep watch, okay?
Go back to Byzantium, you gold-plated bastards. Yeah, no one wants you on Groundbreaker. I'm just gonna hang in the back and try not to touch anything. We do have... Ah, yes. Wheela messaged me you were coming. You must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? Oh no, this is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? Oh, Alex. He was my dearest friend. My only friend. You have his ship, you must know. That picture of us on the promenade, me hugging him, him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. Did he? Ah, oh, that's just like him. Such a sentimental man. Tell me, how did he die? Oh, awful business that. But why? How? No, no. Right, right, you're going important. There, I've removed the flag from your ship. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go, Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? You haven't read the posters? He's a terrorist, a thief. Well, Alex knew, or he said he did. And you have his ship. Maybe he kept some records around, or... That's... Uh, well, that's... Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there... It's personal business. Information on the whereabouts of Phineas Wells would go a long way. It's... It's fine, really, it's... Now, if you've nothing else, please see yourself out. I'd like to drown myself in work. Be my guest. Oh, good law! Who'd want to go to... No, imp- Ask- Chicken and potatoes. At CNP, we know our CNP. Oh, neat! They got stuff in here I ain't seen in ages. Now, this should prove interesting, to say the least. Miss Lilia takes good care of us, see? The authorities stay off our tails.
had a question about your plan, Mr. Vicker. Of course. The cosmos is generated and directed by the universal equation, also known as the Grand Plan. By contemplating the teleological order of things, one can achieve verity. Oh, um, right. You had a question? Never mind. That about answers it. Welcome to Sublight Salvage and Shipping, a legitimate business. You're the one flying the un- Sure you are. Miss Lily has been expecting you. I'll unlock the door. So you're the new captain in town. I was hoping you'd make your way. Lilia Hagen, CEO and Executive Director of Aggressive Op- A little advice. Before you start telling lies, get a feel for who you're talking to. It's nice to see the unreliable again. A useful ship. Hawthorn was my contractor. I'd recognize that leaky boat of his anywhere. I didn't ask. I have a salvage job for someone light on corporate ties with a reliable set. There is always a catch. If you have a nav key to Stellar Bay, the job's yours. Interested? First, an embargo that's been active ever since the board pulled its forces off world. Few regulations, plenty of freedom. And second, all the goodies that no one had time to pack. I like that initiative, but ease back on the throttle. If there's anything else... Be seeing you. I am perfectly fit. My uh, knee is just acting up. There's no shame in being older, Mr. Vicker. Don't worry. The captain and I will take care of you. I need neither your advice nor your pity, young lady. 